Imagine you have got a worksheet on financial reporting in Excel for a company. Your dataset includes various financial metrics for different quarters over multiple years. In this scenario, using a double row header can be beneficial for creating a clear and informative report. Hey there, Excel enthusiasts! Welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I'm Shahriyar Abra Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create a double row header in Excel. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. I have the scores on the midterm test of some individuals studying at a certain institution. Here, cell B4 contains scores, also row 5 includes ID, name, English, maths, and social science in different columns consecutively. My data set is quite long, so when I scroll down, the upper rows contain the column headers are no longer visible. At this point, it becomes very difficult to understand which column represents what value. So, I want to make row 4 our first row header, also row 5 as the second row header. For our first method, I'll use the print titles option to create a double row header in Excel. Before starting the main segment, I'll format the header first. Firstly, select cell B4, go to the Home tab, then click on the Fill Color drop-down icon in the font group of commands. After that, choose the color Orange Accent 2 Lighter 80%. Similarly, format the second row header also. Now, it looks like an ideal header for our dataset. Now, go to the Page Layout tab. In the Page Setup group, select Print Titles on the ribbon. Instantly, the Page Setup dialog box opens. At first, select the Sheet tab. Here, we can select the Print Area. At this point, click on the upside arrow beside the box of Rows to Repeat at top. By this action, the Page Setup dialog box becomes minimized. Rather, it opens a new wizard named Page Setup Rows to Repeat at top. Now, select row 4 and row 5. Then, click on the upside down arrow in the wizard. It returns us to the page setup dialog box again. We can see our selected rows showing in the box. Finally, select the print option. It brings us to the print window. Now, click on the drop down box under the printer option. Then, choose Microsoft Print to PDF from the available options. After that, click on the print button. Instantly, the save print output as window opens. Now, choose your desired file directory. In this case, I'll use desktop. Then, write down the name of your file in the file name box. I will name my file as double row header. Lastly, click on the save button. Thus, we have saved our spreadsheet as a PDF. Now, open the file through a PDF reader. Hence, our double row header is existing at the top of each page. In the second method, I'll apply the free spans option. At first, select cell B6. After that, move to the View tab. Then, in the Window group of commands, click on the free spans drop-down icon. Lastly, select the free spans option. You can see two straight lines inserted into the sheet. One is horizontal, another is vertical. These portions become fixed for this reason. Literally, you can see that we scroll down to ID 13, but the row 4 and row 5 become static and we can watch them. They look like a perfect double row header. In our third and last method, I'll convert the data range into a table. Click on any cell inside the data range. Then, go to the Insert tab. After that, select Table from the Tables group. The Create Table input box opens. Here, we can see the cell range of the whole dataset are present in the Where is the data for your table box? I'll change it a bit. Change the cell reference from B4 to B5. Make sure to check the box of My table has headers. Click OK. Thus, we converted the selected range into a table and the headers have the filter buttons also. But the first row header scores remain as a normal row. 
will format it to look like a header. Select cell B4, then go to the Home tab. After that, click on Fill Color in the Font Group. Choose the color Blue Accent 1 Lighter 40%. I'll change the font color to White Background 1 for better visibility. Finally, our table looks completely OK. It looks like having a double row header. Now, if you scroll down, you can see the header at the top. In this tutorial, I have shown three useful ways to create a double row header in Excel. Use the one which comes in handy for you. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comments section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.